Hey, this is Kevin Winston with Digital LA. We are live, Facebook live, from our awesome panel that we just had called Movie Marketing, VR, AR, and Visual Effects for Superheroes. It is our post Comic Con pre Sigraph panel. We have experts who have all done various movie marketing and visual effects and VR and AR campaigns and digital marketing campaigns for uh, studios such as uh, Marvel and Disney and other uh, DC, other great studios. And so we've had a great discussion and we basically wanted to summarize and ask the final question, which is, what are the top trends which you see uh, as far as movie marketing and usually in visual effects, VR, AR, and other tech tools in the industry? So we'll ask you to each answer that question if you can come up with one or two of your top favorite things from this discussion or something new you thought of, that would be great. Uh, and then when we flip the camera around, if you introduce, introduce yourself with your name, uh, your company, um, and then go ahead with your top one or two trends. We'll go ahead and create a um, video of this and post it on YouTube afterwards. So let's go ahead and start. On this side with... Uh, I'm, I'm Ben <laughs> with Ben. I'm from Framestore. Uh, we're a visual effects company. And um, I think the trends that, that we've seen um, with superheroes, at least, is um, the use of uh, visual effects to create characters that can um, branch out across platforms. One of the big things that, that we're seeing more and more of is the integrity of the brand and the, the, the cinematic universe, if you like, um, across all the different mediums. I think that's become something that's important to fans and, and also important to studios um, to see characters like Rocket, for example, from Guardians of the Galaxy, a digital character um, able to make transitions from the film into rides at Disney, um, like Mission Breakout. Um, uh, what you have worked on? Yeah, well, that's a project we worked on, and um, commercials as well, and, and a whole, whole raft of um, other formats so that the fans can engage with these characters, and, um, and they can also have these sort of tangential stories. So. Um, they're not just uh, playing in the, in the films themselves, but the stories exist out in the world a bit more, and I think that becomes more immersive and, and, and just extends the, the, the reach and, and contact for, for the super character, superhero characters that the, the fans uh, you know, have so much. Awesome, great. All right, you want to go next? Nicole. Hi, hi. <laughs> hi Facebook Live on. Um, my name is Nicole St. Jean. I work at a company called 8i, which is a virtual reality, augmented reality company. We make holograms, volumetric video um, of people for augmented reality and virtual reality. We launched an app called Hollow App four weeks ago that lets you take holograms, um, place them in your own photos and videos, and share them across social media. I think the big trend this year is, is, is AR, just to simplify things. I think um, Apple's launch of AR Kit um, is now making AR applications really accessible to everyone. Google Tango um, is already out there, and I think this is going to be a year where there's almost it's, it's going to be unusual for content because I think there will be almost more demand for AR content than there will be content for a minute, um, and it's going to be really fun for people to try and like fill the interest. And if you think about content like from Giphy and, and YouTube and everything's been, been 2D for so long and it's about to be like a diorama. And I think it's gonna be really fun um, for people to get access to these assets that have been like, it's kind of like when Pro Tools like came into the living room for people. Like yeah. now people will get these VFX assets and get to play with them. So um, that's the trend that I think is gonna happen. It's gonna be really fun um, and I'm looking forward to it. Awesome, cool. Thanks so much, Nicole. Natasha. Hi, my name is Natasha French. I'm with a company called Ventana. We're an augmented reality company that specializes in interactive hologram displays that enables you to share them on social, and then we can collect data um, on those experiences for brands. I think one of the biggest trends can go off right now where I think 22,000 hologram selfies and counting, and that kind of touches on the idea of personalization. And I think working with brands and enabling consumers to be a part of that experience, but using augmented reality and other types of new technology to enable that to happen. So I think the biggest thing what I'm seeing is that content creation piece, but putting that consumer in that experience. So then one, you're not just introducing yourself to a brand, you're actually a part of that experience. Awesome, customization, great. Thanks, Natasha, with Ventana. And then Melissa. Hi, I'm Melissa Childs from Fandango and Fandango.com, Fandango Movie Clips. 
Um, I think the, the biggest trend is further deepening the fan experience um, and any sort of like live video activation where the fans can interface directly with the actors who play these characters that they love so much um, and really get to interact with them on a, on a deeper level. Um, another thing that I think is going to be really up and coming is I um, saw this amazing VR experience at Comic-Con, Blade Runner 2049 VR experience. Uh, the VR itself was incredible and then it opened up into this whole immersive uh, cinematic live experience with props and characters and it was, it was just really incredible. So I think anything to bring the fans even deeper into the, the cinematic experience that they love. Awesome. Yeah, immersive experiences are really big with that one and Westworld, etc. Uh, any other questions from Facebook Live audiences or studio audience? All right. Well, let's give our parents a big round of applause for hanging out with us today. Thanks so much. Thank